Welcome to another CEA project with Mr. Seward, your favorite project lead the way teacher. We are going to be starting the Keystone Library project in this video. And uh, what you need to do to get this up on your screen is go to wherever you have saved the two files, the Keystone Library Renovation Preliminary Building and the same title except uh, site wherever those two files are, open the one that is for the building. And this is the image you'll get uh, after you change to the 3D view. Now, in this video, we're going to be adding a wall to this front surface right here. And one of the things we're gonna do, I'm gonna go to the south elevation here. I'm going to take it and show you this. And this wall that's going at this end of the building is going to go from the second floor up to the upper roof framing. But what you'll notice is that above the upper roof framing here is more wall. And this is what's called a parapet wall. It's a little bit higher uh, than the uh, upper roof framing. And they have these parapet walls on buildings for a couple of reasons and here you can see it in the 3d uh, version we have the top of our framing and then you have above that uh, a distance and i'm going to click on one of these walls and go over here to the properties manager and you're going to see a uh, top offset right here and this is extended up for a couple of reasons one of them being that uh, when you look at a top of a building from the ground and what do they put on the top of buildings or on the top on this on the roofs of buildings commercial buildings well things like air handling units for heating ventilation air conditioning there's uh, vents coming out for uh, the, uh, wastewater systems so there's a lot of stuff going on on top of roofs and people uh, aesthetically, when you're on the ground, you want to look up and not see that kind of stuff. So this parapet wall will uh, block the visuals coming from the ground going to the roof. The other thing that the parapet wall does is it acts as a safety barrier for anybody that is actually working on the roof. They will uh, have less of a chance to fall off of the roof. They, they It's harder to just walk off the side. So that's why they put those on there. Okay, so I've zoomed out a little bit now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the uh, exterior walls that we have on here currently to a different wall style. This wall style that's on here right now is nice, but it does do some weird things when we are uh, working with it and trying to uh, actually change it. So I'm going to highlight all the walls and I'm just going to click and highlight them all by holding down the control key as I go around and click. And then over here under properties, I'm going to change this to basic wall exterior brick on CMU. Uh, let's see. Here it is right below the one that was highlighted already. And I'm gonna get a bunch of error messages over here, and I'm just gonna keep removing the error messages. What's going on is uh, the thickness of the wall is going from like 12 inches, I believe, down to eight inches. So uh, beams and girders are changing dimensions, and that's why we had to remove dimensions and touch that, all those little error messages. Now we're going to click on second floor here under floor plans and just click on that and I'll zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to select wall and for wall type, I want to click on the exterior brick on CMU. And I'm going to go right from the center line of the outer wall. That's the end of the upper level right now. And I'm going to come down and I'll go right to the center at the bottom there. 
and then I can take a look at this in 3D. And we're going to notice that we don't have the brick on the outside. As a matter of fact, it's on the inside. So what I'll do here is I'm going to click on the wall. And then that highlights it. I'm going to right click. And then I'm going to say change walls orientation. And then I can unclick. And when I look out here, I can see that the brick is indeed on the outside of the building now. But I've got a problem. And that is that the wall is taller than the existing walls. So to fix that height of the wall, I'm going to go into our properties. I'm going to pull down here. I'm looking for top constraint. Let's see, did I go past it? Oh, I know what the problem is. I have to actually highlight the wall so that it uh, is uh, in the properties uh, manager here. Okay, top constraint pops up real easy then. And right now it says unconnected. Well, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to get the list. And the one that I'm looking for is I'm going to get up to level upper roof framing. Up to level upper roof framing. I'm going to hit that and select apply. So that's good. It changed height, but guess what happened? It went too short now. So remember, we have this parapet on here that goes from the framing four feet up. That is going to be fixed by going down until we find, uh, oh, top upset, offset. We didn't have to go very far. I'm going to click on that, and I'm simply going to put in four for that. And I'll hit apply. And now my wall is the same height as the parapet wall that it's connected to.